the very sole reason that the Mott Foundation funded this study was to really inform public policy. That's the only reason we funded it. And we wanted it at a high standard, and I really think that the projects that participated were very brave in getting involved. This could be a very embarrassing event for them, <laughs> and it's not. They really passed the gold standard. And I think the reason we want to inform public policy, we've lived a number of years with a shortage of money at local levels for both training and for interacting with employers. You need money to train people. Education, we went into this assumption with the assumption that education is still the best pathway out of poverty. And whether you're low income, you're unskilled, education still matters. And so we went in with that assumption and the study bears this out. There are 400 <coughs> programs like this scattered across the country. They formed an association, it's called the National Network of Sector Partners. It's amazing to me, after having a policy of rapid attachment, and that being our primary policy, that we still have as well a training arsenal as we have in the United States. And we also have yet to tap, or we've only begun to tap, the potential of partnerships between neighborhood-based organizations and community colleges. The potential's there to train people not to get jobs, but to launch careers, well-paying careers. And all it takes is interaction with employers, organizing employers in local labor markets, and being able to get their <coughs> input on what they want in an employer and how they want to compete globally. And they want skills. And people, low-skilled people, can gain skills. If this study proves anything, it shows that. And it shows that if they gain skills, their income rise. So we're proud to be involved in this, and we thank all of you for coming so that you can hear the story that's being told throughout the country in a number of ways. Training still matters. And I'm proud to be attached to that. Thank you.